Hi, this is Raya with your weekly weather roundup for April 7th to the 13th. Monday, a string of tornadoes were spotted in the southeast with three early morning tornadoes in Mississippi and eight more confirmed in Florida, Georgia, and North Carolina. An EF2 tornado that hit Covington County, Mississippi destroyed 28 homes and caused at least eight injured and one fatality. Tropical cyclone Ida reached Category 4 strength this week and made landfall on Australia's Queensland coast Friday around 9 p.m. local time with sustained winds at 145 miles per hour. Ida seemed to be undergoing an eyewall replacement cycle at landfall, potentially making it weaker as it came ashore. Ida, that eyewall looks fantastic and you shouldn't listen to the haters. They're just jelly. Friday, Chicago hit 70 degrees, breaking a 180-day streak of below 70-degree temperatures, the 15th longest streak for the city. Good on you, Chicago. Doubles. We talk a lot about California's drought, but central and northwestern Texas have been experiencing their own dry spells for three and a half years. Lubbock, Texas is the worst affected with the current 42-month period as its driest in history, second driest ending in 1955, and only the third driest corresponding to the Dust Bowl in 1936. So let's pour one out for Lubbock. Where, oh, I, I guess that's a waste of water. You know what, I'll reuse it. Um, I, let me just... You can read more about the Texas drought in Chris Burt's blog on wonderground.com. Saturday and Sunday, more thunderstorms moved across the plains and Midwest, bringing up to golf ball sized hail to some areas. Six tornadoes were confirmed on Sunday with three in Iowa and one each in Texas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. 140 daily records were set this week across the US with 125 high temperature records and 15 low temperature records. 